The recent Ekiti and Oshun governorship elections are significant turning points for the nation's electoral history. Defeats and excesses will be courageously guarded in the 2023 elections, Timothy Yusuf reports. The Ekiti and Oshun governorship elections are over. Time for post mortem. INEC and election observers comparing notes on the successes and observations and findings expected to make a contribution in the 2023 elections. We saw improvement in, in, in the KT remarkably. We also saw a, a much more better improvement also in. Um, in Oshun. I read it. It's a very, it's a progressive and um, a positive innovation in our electoral process. However, for the general election, one of the things we're hoping to see is how that system is a bit more functional. Presenting the reports for the two elections, yeah, Yaga Africa and INEC recognized that the new electoral act is a major step towards deepening the quality of elections in Nigeria. This commission will continue to upload pooling unit results to our INEC results being important. This commission will not depart from it. The Nigerian people will be involved at every inch of the process. I need must continue to do what we are proud of because of the innovation I need to bring into the process. The use of pivots and electronic transmission of election results from polling units are all success stories, and this gives the electorate more confidence in the process. While encouraging all political actors to study the new electoral act, members of the joint civil society organizations are urging relevant stakeholders to have a thorough background check on the recent INEC resident electoral commissioners nominees. Timothy Yusuf, NT News.